Hi everyone, welcome to our Happy and Healthy channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a deep dive into 12 weird signs and symptoms of liver damage and delving deep into each one to provide you with valuable insights and information. These are very important signs to be aware of because you can stop this disease from progressing and getting worse. As your liver is able to completely regenerate with a little help. Liver disease is a condition that is affecting over 25% of people worldwide, and this number is growing at a rapid rate. Most people believe that liver damage comes from only drinking too much alcohol, but the truth is, it can also be caused by eating too many sweetened, sugary, or processed foods and drinks. Consuming too many omega-6 vegetable oils and fast foods, using painkillers, too often like acetaminophen or ibuprofen, and viruses can cause damage and hepatitis in the liver. Having too much elemental iron in the body can be a problem, and also toxins from the environment like pesticides, plastics, and petroleum, among others. So, if you'd like to find out if there are problems with your liver, watch this video through until the end. We will also be exploring some natural home treatments to clean the liver and prevent the damage from getting worse. This video is for educational purposes only, so do speak to your doctor if you have any medical conditions. Number one, pale stools. The first symptom of liver problems is pale stools. When you use the toilet, your liver releases conjugated bile acids to help digest fats from your food, which give your stool its normal brown color. If you have fatty liver disease or liver damage, however, this bile stops flowing properly through the bile ducts, causing your stool to become lighter, paler or clay colored, and it may float on the top of the toilet water because of the undigested fat that's making it buoyant. Number two, poor night vision. Symptom number two is poor night vision. If you notice that it's much more difficult to focus or see at night time, especially where there's poor lighting, this may indicate a retinol or a vitamin A deficiency. The bile that comes from your liver helps you to absorb vitamin A to help the rod cells in your eyes adapt to different levels of light. Having liver disease, however, causes a lack of bile so that you don't absorb enough vitamin A, triggering what we call night blindness. This can also indicate that you have a congested gallbladder, especially if your eyes also feel very dried out, sore, irritated, and gritty. Number three, swollen right foot. Sign number three is a swollen right foot. When the blood isn't flowing normally through your liver, it can become swollen and enlarged, which puts pressure on the pleural vein. This causes fluid or water to accumulate in the legs or feet. And then when you press your finger into the swollen area, it may leave in an indentation. If you notice that the right foot and your ankle is more swollen than the left, this is an extremely common sign that you may have liver damage and you may want to use a natural remedy to improve its function but we'll talk more about cleaning your liver later in the video number four white eyelid growths symptom number four is white eyelid growths another weird sign of liver damage is the appearance of white or yellowish growths surrounding your eyelids these are small pockets of cholesterol deposits that build up under your skin because your liver isn't breaking down cholesterol properly, causing it to back up into different areas of the body. Number five, right-sided pressure. Sign number five is right-side pressure. Another sign that you may have liver disease is a feeling of pressure or pain on the right side of your rib cage, especially after you eat. Bile from your liver is turning into sludge because of the liver damage, which is clogging up the little tubes connected to your gallbladder and causes a sensation of pressure and pain around the ribs. This can also put pressure on the phrenic nerve, 
causing muscle tightness and pain in the area around your right shoulder. Number six, purple and red spots. Sign number six is purple and red spots. When your liver is congested, inflamed or damaged, it produces less proteins that are needed for normal blood clotting. This means that you can bruise more easily. And quite often, unusual purple or red bumps can appear as a rash on the skin, as well as small red patches. This often happens around the lower legs or the arms, and it's caused by the poor blood circulation triggered by liver disease or possibly diabetes. Number seven, cracked heels. Next up is cracked heels. Your body uses vitamin B3, commonly known as niacin, to keep your skin cells strong, smooth, and moisturized to prevent them from becoming damaged. If you have liver disease, however, your body uses up its vitamin B3 stores to help repair the damage. This leaves less of the nutrient available for other jobs, causing the skin on the soles of your feet and heels to start cracking. This problem can be overcome by loading up on vitamin B3 and fixing the root cause of the problem, which is fatty liver disease. Number eight, itchy hand or feet. Sign number eight is itchy hands and feet. Another symptom of liver disease is having the constant urge to scratch or itch the palms of your hands or the soles of your feet. This condition is caused by a buildup of bio acids under the skin because the liver is not filtering them out properly. This causes histamines to build up in the blood, leading to the itchy reaction. Number nine, all white or clubbed nails. If your fingernails begin to turn all white in color, losing their pink color, or they take on a rounded, clubbed, or bulbous appearance, this can indicate that there is some serious liver damage or another underlying health condition which is preventing oxygen from reaching the nail matrix. It was discovered in the 1950s that 8 out of 10 people with severe liver scarring had all white nails. Number 10. Dark urine. Your liver has the job of breaking down old red blood cells which contain this yellowish pigment called bilirubin. Now, if your liver or the gallbladder becomes damaged, this pigment can start to build up inside the body, and then it can be flushed through the urine, causing your pee to have a very strong, dark, orange, amber, brown, or color color, because your liver isn't breaking down the pigment normally. This can also be caused by certain medications that are weakening your liver, like antibiotics, sleeping pills, or birth control pills. Number 11, yellowed skin. Sign number 11 is yellowed skin. When your liver isn't working properly and filtering this b rubin from your blood, the pigment can also start to change the color of your skin. This can cause a yellowish tinge to the skin called jaundice, which is a sign that there is some serious damage in the liver such as hepatitis, cirrhosis, drug, or medication poisoning. So please visit your doctor if this is the case. Number 12, spider veins. And finally, number 12 is spider veins. Spider veins look like small red dots with spider-like extensions of blood vessels that appear on the skin. These are blood vessels that have become damaged because your liver isn't doing its job in filtering out all of the excess estrogen. High estrogen weakens the blood vessels in the veins, causing them to dilate and they become visible on the skin. If you have one or more of these symptoms that we've talked about here, it's highly recommended to visit your doctor and ask for an ultrasound test. This is a very simple non-invasive test which uses sound waves to take an image of your liver and its network of blood vessels to find out if there are any fatty deposits building up inside. Fortunately, the liver is one of the only organs in the body that can completely heal and regenerate. 
how can we take measures to reverse liver disease? As I previously mentioned, the liver has four different stages of damage. Image first, it gets clogged up with fat. Then it becomes inflamed and begins to develop scar tissue called fibrosis. And then it develops into a more severe, life-threatening stage called therosis. Fortunately, however, the liver has the ability to completely regenerate and heal itself when you fix your diet and use the right remedies. So let's go through them, try to do the most important steps to reverse liver damage. One, clean up your diet by cutting back on sugary, starchy, and flour-based foods like bread, biscuits, sweets, ketchup, pancakes, pasta, soda drinks, etc. A fatty or damaged liver is sensitive to fructose, which is fruit sugar, in the same way that it is alcohol. So it's important to stop drinking fruit juices and alcohol entirely. 2. Eat lots of bitter sulfur-rich foods like leafy greens, artichokes, radishes, garlic, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, kale, cabbage, mushrooms, pasture-raised eggs, wild salmon, and other oily fish, walnuts, onions, scallions, and broccoli sprouts. Foods that are high in sulfur help to strip away fat from your liver by boosting glutathione levels and helping to detoxify poisons. 3. Drink one cup of organic coffee that's brewed at home each morning and then add one teaspoon of turmeric. The polyphenols found in the coffee and the phytonutrients in the turmeric reduce scar tissue formation in the liver and also help it to repair damage caused by alcohol, drugs, or fructose. 4. You should also be drinking at least one liter of high-quality mineral water throughout the day to help thin out your blood and help the liver to produce bile in order to break down any fatty deposits. You can also add freshly squeezed lemon or lime juice to improve the filtration of toxins in your liver. 5. In fact, I recommend that you get as many liver cleansing herbs and spices into your diet as possible, such as ginger, turmeric, cinnamon, dandelion root, milk thistle, reishi mushrooms, green tea, and also cloves. 6. Furthermore, eat all of your daily calories in a 6-hour window, allowing your body 18 hours to fast each day. I recommend eating all of your food between the hours of 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. But you can change this window to suit your lifestyle. This is what we call intermittent fasting or timed eating. And it majorly improves the health of your liver by lowering inflammation and increasing insulin-like growth factor, a hormone that helps prevent fat from accumulating in the liver. Fasting also stimulates autophagy, where your liver recycles old damaged cells and proteins to regenerate new healthy liver cells. 7. Stop eating all of the inflammatory seed oils such as corn, cotton seed, canola, rapeseed, soy oil, cheaper processed olive oil, margarine, etc. Start eating anti-inflammatory fats instead, like extra virgin olive oil and virgin coconut oil in your own home-cooked delicious recipes, as these have been proven to have liver-protective properties. 8. Finally, to clean out the fatty deposits and lower inflammation inside the liver. Take a purified bile supplement in the morning on an empty stomach. You can use Tadka, acid torosold deoxycholic. Purified bile salts, conjugated bile acids, or a digestive enzyme blend that contains ox bile on the ingredients list. These not only help to eliminate fat from your liver, but they also prevent the formation of gallbladder stones. If you are serious about repairing your liver, there are also other vitamins and supplements that can be used. Thank you so much for watching my video today. And as always, I wish you great health, wealth and happiness. We value your feedback 
Let us know in the comments if you found this information informative and helpful. Remember to subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any future videos. Don't forget to like and share this valuable content. Stay healthy and continue to prioritize your well-being.